Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is On The Zeal, of course, and welcome to some more Counter-Strike GO. Did you guys think I forgot about Counter-Strike GO? No, I just waited for the perfect gameplay to show you guys. This is some major ass-kicking. <laughs> I don't know if I ended up on a server with not many good people, but uh, I did, I did amazingly well for, for being me, to be honest, because... Yeah, let's let's be honest here. I am not a very good Counter Strike player. <laughs> I'm not very good at all. I mean, my friend, uh, the secret editor man, aka the other Anders, uh, he was here the, yesterday and uh, played with me. And he just got a new PC and a new mouse, and he just installed it, and he basically did better than me. And I've been playing. I I, I think I played Counter Strike Go now for f thirty or fifty hours. So. Yeah, that was kind of embarrassing, and he's not even close to being some kind of pro or anything like that, but he has kicked a lot more ass than me, a hell of a lot more ass than me. <laughs> As I said, it was kind of embarrassing. I, I wish I wish I, I would have done better. <laughs> but I think this is a pretty nice gameplay. Got some shotgun, uh, got some AVP, got some... Um, uh, oh, got some AK-74. Uh, or 70 uh, or 47. I think. It's not 74 actually in contract go. I'm stupid. I'm thinking think about battlefield actually uh, But also something I've realized lately is that uh, the, the oh my god, what is it called? It, the terrorist has a gun you buy it on the one uh, six I believe it's 400 bucks. It's, it's like a tech 9 or something like that 32 rounds I've kind of used that a little bit lately because some of you guys said in the comment section that I should really try it out and I gotta say, I really enjoy it. I would say that's my second favorite handgun. Uh, of course, the Magnum is my favorite one. I mean, who who can who cannot love the Magnum? I mean, the Desert Eagle, it is amazing. Fucking 50 cal, seven rounds of pure fucking manpower, stopping power. I mean, it's it's amazing. But also something I've realized is that you can use uh, the fire, uh, the the Molotovs for extreme for a, a huge amount of good stuff. Basically, you can use it to to if you're if you're afraid of rushing somewhere, you can use it to to close off. It's like here, I can throw it so it ends up here in the top. That makes sure everyone who is close to me is trapped between me and the fire, and the other guys who's on the other side of the fire can't really help their friends because the visibility is is of course lessened by the the smoke from the fire since it's a gasoline fire and I mean Molotov cocktail I mean the fucking black smoke and stuff and also what else was I supposed to say and yeah and also they, they can't even get to me they, they, they can't go forward and actually get a good shot off until the fire actually extinguishes so that is that's pretty goddamn awesome I, I gotta say you can use the fire for a hell of a lot of good things and I'm, I'm kind of figuring it out right now how you should use it and, and I recommend you guys trying it out as well because it has a ton of uh, uses I mean for example here I'm going to use it uh, in a very clever way actually I, I I don't want to give it away until it shows on the video. <laughs> uh, basically, I throw it and I throw it on the other side to close those guys off. Uh, but sadly, I kind of threw it the wrong way. Uh, I, I should have thrown it a lot longer. Uh, but if I throw it up there, like where you see the B marker, that means the guys who are there are probably gonna die or they're gonna be stuck. And uh, a good thing about that is, is, of course, I can turn the corner a little bit more safe without those guys actually getting me and stuff like that. So that's extremely helpful. And right there, I'm trying to hex a little bit. And th that's also something... I don't want you guys to get the, the wrong idea here, because hexing is not actually hacking. Hexing is when you shoot through objects. Uh, for example, if you know someone is behind a door because you've seen them, then you shoot through the door to kill them. And that is hexing. Uh, it's not hacking. If you, I don't know if you guys even get get my point here, but <laughs> I, hope, I hope you guys really do. And I, I just love Counter Strike Go. I mean, it is so good. I mean, the, the only thing I don't like about it, of course, is that that I kind of suck. But that's not the game's fault. I mean, that's totally my fault. I mean, don't don't get me wrong here. This gameplay is really really good. I get a ton of nice kills. But as as any one of you guys who know a little bit of Counter Strike uh, is gonna like notice that my aim is not very good, and I'm basically just getting lucky this round because 
I do not get a good score most of the other runs. So just in battle, just like in Battlefield, but actually even less here. I get even less good kills here, so uh, don't, don't think I'm, I'm some kind of pro or a pro wannabe or some shit like that. I, I, I just want to give you guys good and exciting gameplay where I get a lot of kills. It's not to make me look good, it's just not to disclose exactly how badly I am. <laughs> If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> I don't know. I, I hope it kind of makes a little bit sense at least. But, and uh, this is of course Dust. Uh, it's not Dust 2, uh, it's Dust. Uh, one of the, the absolute classic maps, Dust and Dust 2. A nuke, Train and Inferno, I would say, are the most popular maps without a doubt. And those those are the maps you want to like learn and, and become good at. But there are some new maps like Alexandria. It, it's kind of fun to play, but it's, it, it has too many hiding spots and, and, and ways to attack and rush. And it's kind of a bit too... The spawns for terrorists and counter-terrorists are a bit too close, in my opinion, on that one. So yeah, it's I don't I don't really like it super much. It's a fun map, but it's it's not like the classics, uh, and, and you guys should really play the classics. Uh, and if you guys are new for it, that, that's Haxing, by the way. There I was shooting through the wall. I didn't get anyone there, but if there was was someone there, I might have gotten him, so to say. So you can see the blood splatter on the wall. I, th I think I nicked him though. I think someone else killed the person I was aiming for. Uh, but also a few tips and tricks for you guys who are kind of new to the game. Uh, you might uh, you might actually not know this, but you should really go into uh, browse community servers and find a nice server like that to play on. Because if you just uh, pick like uh, oh god the, the like option the game gives you, where the game puts you together with uh, five or four people and five other guys on the enemy team. That is not a very fun way to play the game because I've noticed that kind of matchmaking is, is kind of flawed. It, it doesn't uh, it doesn't put you in a server or with people that have a good ping. And you should really have at least like a maximum like 40 ping or something like that. You, you shouldn't really have much more of a ping than that because that's going to hurt you. Uh, game wise of course it's not gonna hurt you personally if you get my drift. <laughs> Because <laughs> that would that would kind of be weird, wouldn't it? Uh, and also, of course, as I said before, like the sensitivity and stuff like that. You should always try to play with as low sensitivity as possible, and try to use a gaming mouse of some kind if you have one. It doesn't have to be a super fancy mouse, it, because really, if you have a super fancy mouse, that that only helps like really good players. I mean, that's why I have a mouse that doesn't cost like a hundred bucks, but the one that costs like. 40 bucks instead. I mean, like, there's no reason to like waste your money on a mouse that that that, <laughs> that won't fit you as a player, so to say. And one of the most important things when you choose a mouse is that it should feel good in your hand. That's that's almost one of the most important things because most new mouses nowadays uh, are very has a good aim, so to say, or a good sensitivity and stuff like that. Good. I don't know, no, precision. I, I should say precision, not accuracy or something like that, because that, that, that kind of explains it in the wrong way. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm, my, no, my nose is kind of still stuffed since I, I was kind of sick last week. And I don't know, I think it's because it's autumn here in Sweden now and, and it's like raining outside and crap. It's really, it's really, uh, how do you say it, depressing. It's, it's not a very nice weather. This is also a great way to rush. You throw yourself a nice little flashbang here and then you go over to A straight away. Uh, sadly here I fucking team flashed someone uh, and I hit him in the face and then I throw a grenade and then I hit him in the back and I kill him like a freaking retard. <laughs> At least I make sure to survive a little bit and actually kill kill quite a lot of enemies here. And uh, I'm doing quite badly here. I should have concentrated on shooting the guy that was actually shooting me. And I make sure to say sorry, of course, because that was kind of a dick move. Uh, I totally failed Nade there, and and I just blew half of the team up. So or not half of the team up. I blew up one guy. That's that's not that bad, but it, it's still bad. I mean, you should be careful with your grenades and your flashbangs and stuff like that. But if if the other guys wouldn't have like flashed me that wouldn't been such a big problem. 
And also something you want to think about, uh, if you go for community service, try to find a server that has a certain amount of rounds, not 30 rounds, because 30 rounds is a bit too much, it quickly gets boring. This server has, I think, if it's 12 or 16 rounds, so after like the first 8 rounds you change teams actually, so it's, uh, so it's really like yeah, even. And then when one, uh, basically when the rounds has ended, or when, when you played all the 12 or 16 rounds the game ends, and the winners is the winners. And But some servers also have it that way that when you've won a certain amount of, for example, if you win 7 out of 12 rounds, that means it's impossible for the enemy team to actually win more rounds than you out of 12, so you win by default, of course, and not really, yeah, the, kind of before, I don't know, I'm going on a rant here, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not really making any fucking sense. Nope. Almost never do. I'm proud of it. Because that's how I am. That's that's me. Anders Eel. <laughs> so, we got, got the, I think this is actually the last round here. And I, I decided to go for the mag pull. Or what the hell it's called. Seven or some crap like that. It's mag seven. That's what it's called. And it's some kind of pop automatic pump action shotgun thing and it, it is damn powerful you do a lot of damage but sadly my aim is just horrible and it's, it's kind of weird you got the magazine kind of like in the hand of the stuff so i don't really know what the hell is up with that yeah it's it's just that slaughter here and basically we raped them no this is actually this is the second lost round here comes the lost round uh but the uh, yeah, match point uh, 9 out of 16. No, this is actually... Or is it? I don't... I'm not sure. 6 rounds left. Oh yeah, 6 rounds left. Uh, so this is a 16 round. So basically when we win 9 rounds out of these 16s, we take home the victor. So if we win this one, we win. And since the video is ending now, you probably already figured out that we win now. So yeah, that's, that's not too difficult to realize. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> But, but here it really shows that I, I really don't have the skills because I got the AVP here, it's it's really close, I know where the enemies are, I miss so many shots, it's just embarrassing, like, miss two shots there, then I hit, then I hit again, and then I then I go in to try to kill the lost guys here, so at, at least I, I, I hit about 30% of it, miss that one as well, this guy peeks and gets fucking two of my friend lists. And I'm really careful because I only got 37% health left. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. And as usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.